following tonight. The Court of Special Appeals agrees that Adnan Syed should be granted a new trial. Syed, as you may recall, was the subject of that very popular podcast, Serial. That's right. He was convicted in 2000 for the murder of his ex-girlfriend and Woodlawn High, high School classmate, Heyman Lee. ABC 2 News' Mallory Safaste is live with more on the latest of the ruling. Mallory, what does this mean for Adnan Syed? So this 138 page opinion means that Syed is getting a new trial unless the state appeals and they can to Maryland's highest court, the Court of Appeals. But for now, this is a victory for Syed's camp. They've been fighting this conviction for 18 years, and it was the popular podcast serial that brought this case to the nation's attention and started raising questions about his guilt and the trial, particularly why Syed's trial counsel didn't cross examine a potential alibi witness. His classmate, Asian McLean, who claims she saw Syed in the library at the time the state says Lee was murdered. In June 2016, a Baltimore City Circuit Court judge vacated Syed's conviction. The state appealed that ruling. And nearly a year after the appeals hearing, the three judge panel has upheld that judge's ruling. We've been fighting for so long uh, that it just feels great to get to get over yet another hurdle. And Serial has also helped build this groundswell of support for, for us and for Adnan and, and for the case. And that has really fueled these efforts and allowed us to keep fighting on the way that we have. The state has 30 days to appeal through Vigneraja. Special Assistant Attorney General told me, quote, we received the opinion and are reviewing the decision and dissent to determine next step steps. Now, one of the judges didn't agree that the defense proved ineffective counsel. Syed's trial attorney, Christina Gutierrez, passed away. So the judge said that there was no real way of knowing whether it was ineffective counsel or trial strategy to not call McLean to the stand. Now, in the meantime, Justin Brown said that they will make another effort to get Syed out on bail. Reporting live from Baltimore City, Mallory Safaste, ABC2 News. All right.